What's up guys, it's Chevy 513 here. Hey, today we're taking a look at this drill holster that Dickies sent out to me. It's the Dickies Work Gear Model 57097 5 pocket cordless drill holster with tool tether. It's got one large open ended pocket that safely stores your drill with an adjustable security strap and side release clip here to keep your drill in place when you're not using it. It's got five additional pockets along here to hold drill bits, uh, screw bits, pencils, pens, etc. It's got a 29 inch detachable safety tether lanyard uh, which you can attach to your drill so you don't need to worry about it dropping to the ground if you drop it out of your hand. So, let's take a look at it here. We've got the five pockets for drill bits, pens, pencils, all that jazz up front. You've got the clip here that uh, Keeps your drill safely in place when you're not using it. And there's actually Velcro on here. And there's Velcro on the back here. And you can Velcro that out of the way when you're not using it. You've got your drill out. Now, I will tell you, you're not going to get really above shoulder length. Any much more than that and the tether's gonna catch. So just be prepared for that if you want to use the tether. Also, the tether you can see will not work when you're standing on the ground. It'll only work when you're on a ladder or something up high. So also be aware of that. And I'd like to point this out as well. I've got a picture of it here. The little clip there that clips to your drill is small and flimsy. I did three drop tests with it with my Milwaukee Surge impact driver which only weighs 3.85 pounds and it broke. So I broke the rest of it off and ran a carabiner through the loop on the tether and I haven't had any problems since. So for your peace of mind I would just break the uh, clip that comes on it off and run a carabiner through there because the clip that comes on it is is just junk so but once you get that on there it works great and you can see I've got it on my tool belt it will also fit on a regular belt or on your pants it's got the metal clip and it's also got a two inch belt loop. So it will go on a belt. And I'll show you here the safety tether. I mean it works good. Just like I said though, it's not going to work when you're standing on the ground. If you're standing on the ground and you drop your impact or drill, it's gonna hit the ground. If you're on a ladder or something, you're good. So, but again, you can see it works great, but do not trust the standard factory clip that comes with it. Break it off and put a better, bigger uh, clip on there, like a carabiner like this. So, also, what I wanted to show you is, let me clip this onto my pants real quick. My surge is pretty small, so we're going to show you here. Here's my rigid Stealth Force impact driver. 
and it fits just fine. Have to butt this out a little. Go right over and clip in. And here is my rigid half inch hammer drill. And same with that, it will fit just fine. So it's definitely big enough to hold some large drills and impacts. So I definitely recommend it. Again, my only piece of advice is just when you get it, get rid of the uh, factory clip that clips to your um, drill or impact and replace it with like a carabiner or something stronger. So, anyways, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're looking forward to more tool reviews and tool videos and things like that, then subscribe to my channel. And I will go ahead and leave a link where you can go check out this pouch and, uh, excuse me, drill holster and purchase it if you like. And again, thanks for watching the video. And hey, have a great day, guys.